we all don't know what's next and we have these things that are planned with project success and it's like okay well you know that's out the window and then all of a sudden it's not and like the partnership continues and you shift gears and totally come in and partner with us and figure out what's another way in which in this new platform in this new place that we are um, that we can engage students around meaningful activities that are you know that that build on their identity on student identity and are age appropriate and you know the most important thing right now are engaging well, college and career tours were components of this we have our college connect admission and student panels we have our college conversation podcast our college success workshops and our recorded college admission chats here at project success love going on college tours two-year school four-year school private school public school out of state big school small school all schools and all to help you our wonderful student find the right place and to make the right choice for your future. They allow us to do something that a lot of times we don't get to do on college tours, which is um, it allows us to create more specified workshops to where students are at. We kind of put them in these the two categories of just getting my journey started and farther along on my journey of the college search. Global experiences, both when in person and virtual, really focuses on a dedication to global citizenship. Uh, relating to people from other parts of the world and learning about yourself in the process and how you fit into that bigger world. We've had over 350 students and their families travel the globe through our online trips and virtual outdoor adventures to nearly a dozen different countries. COVID was a very trying time for many of our students and students globally. We would work on pen pals, correspondences as a way for students to connect. We'd done a little bit of this when we took our students to Mexico. Um, so that was an in-person trip. So we took that concept and really just blew it up to scale. Close to 200 students participating. That is about 600 correspondences. We were very fortunate to partner with six different countries. I really liked the communicating with people from other countries. I've never really done that before, so that was super cool. And then to like hear about some things that were like different there um, versus here, so that was really cool. Seems to me to be like a very student-focused organization rather than, you know, a bunch of adults thinking they know what's best for kids. Like it really just seems to be tapping into what kids actually need and want and love and always great people, you know, just the staff, everybody that I've met through the years, you know, without project success, it would have been a less fun year and you would have been less knowledgeable, less knowledgeable. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. It's great when those two things can go hand in hand. Cause I think in education, we often think they can't, if something is fun, then it can't be worth doing. Project success just embraces the fun and trusts that the learning comes along with it because it does.